The moment you've all been waiting for is here. The much-anticipated Mendix 10 is now available for download at marketplace.mendix.com. Join me as we take a look at everything that Mendix 10 has to offer. When you fire up Studio Pro 10, you'll immediately see its new slick design, complete with an entirely new, fresh set of icons. This upgrade doesn't just make the development look good, it's also been optimized for comfort during those longer sessions, for both fans of light and dark mode. On top of that, there's a completely overhauled properties pane that everyone can use right now. Changing your settings in your app has never been easier, thanks to this user-friendly new interface. You're going to love our next new feature, PDF document generation. I know you've all been waiting for this for a long time, so let's dig in. From now on, you can easily create pixel-perfect PDF documents right from the standard pages in your app. And the best part? You get to use all the options of the complete page editor, including widgets, dynamic data, snippets, text templates, and conditional visibility based on expressions, dynamic classes, and so on. The PDF document generation module is now in public beta, and it's ready for Mendix 10 and apps running on Mendix 9.18 and up running in the Mendix cloud. So what are you waiting for? Try it out. I mean, after this video, of course. I've got some more updates. Don't leave just yet. We've seriously upgraded our page URLs, giving you more power to create user-friendly links that can handle multiple parameters with ease. You get to decide the URL format and drop in placeholders where you need them. Plus, you're not limited to just the ID attribute anymore. You can now use other attributes in the URL as well. And the best part? All the variables are automatically pulled from the database, thanks to a generated XBoth query. Just look at these beauties. What more do you want from a link? Check out the documentation for the details. Moving on to two workflow updates. Business processes often involve tasks that need to be individually carried out by multiple users like a 4i review or a proposal that needs to be reviewed by multiple managers. Plus, the number of users required for a task could be different depending on the situation, often only becoming clear when the process is already running. To tackle this issue, we've introduced the multi-user tasks available in the workflow toolbox. It works like this. You set up a single task definition. On top of the usual single user task configuration, as a developer, you'll need to answer two extra questions. One, how many users are needed to carry out this task? And two, when multiple users need to make a decision, how should their individual decisions be processed into a single task outcome? To help you with that second question, we've implemented four common decision methods, consensus, veto, majority, and threshold. Each multi-user task runs in parallel, meaning all required users get the task in their inbox at the same time. Once done, it's removed from their inbox. Individual outcomes are logged in a new entity called System.WorkflowUserTaskOutcome. When the final outcome is reached based on the selected decision method, it is set as the outcome for the workflow user task. The second feature is the wait for notification feature, and it's kind of like a user task. It puts the workflow on hold until a specific event takes place, like business events, APIs, or other workflows. You can find the wait for notification activity in the workflow toolbox. When it's time to get the workflow moving again, a new microflow activity called Notify Workflow sends the signal. This Notify Workflow feature also gives you a heads up by returning a Boolean to let you know if the workflow was really waiting for this event. When you're building an app for multiple departments within an organization, you often need to tweak it to align with specific business processes, combine with local regulations, or to integrate with local IT systems. Before Mendix 10, this meant customers had to do multiple implementations of the same app, making it difficult to keep them all updated with new features. But now, with the Mendix Solutions Kit, customers can develop adaptable solutions for common use cases and reuse them across different implementations. These solutions can be customized to fit local needs, and over time can be kept in sync with new releases of the core solution, all while keeping central IT in control. The Solutions Kit helps customers with three key features. The first one is protected modules. This lets central IT create an adaptable solution and lock down parts of the application model. This control ensures local implementation teams can only make changes within defined boundaries. 
The second is solution lifecycle management. This allows you to create solution implementations, tweak them at the model level, and over time upgrade these implementations to new releases of the base solution. This all happens while keeping these adaptations and merging them with new features. The third feature is Adaptation Insights. This gives central IT visibility into which implementations have been made, how they've been modified, and the impact new versions will have on those implementations. Implementation teams also get a similar view on their solution and how it's different from the main version, including insight into upcoming upgrades. Solution lifecycle management and protected modules are available right now in Studio Pro 10. Keep an eye out for Adaptation Insights, which will hit beta later this year. When dealing with multiple applications connected via APIs, it can be tricky to catch crucial events in your apps. Let's say one application is responsible for order registration, while others handle key business processes related to those orders, like dispatching invoices or initiating shipments. You often want to execute these tasks quickly to boost efficiency or maintain high customer satisfaction. Unfortunately, APIs don't always provide a straightforward way to handle this. Two typical solutions, polling and webhooks, have their drawbacks. Polling can lead to delays and be inefficient, while webhooks might be complex to set up and manage. All hail Mendix Connect business events. A simpler, speedier, and more efficient solution when you need real-time notifications for your apps. Business events let you model the events crucial to your app and publish them. Other apps can then indicate their interest in these events by connecting them to a microflow. When the interested app receives an event, this microflow gets triggered automatically. The event broker guarantees scalable, reliable, and near real-time event delivery between your apps. If an app is down, the event broker will store the events and deliver them later when the app is back online. You can use business events right now with Mendix 10, including the necessary event broker infrastructure ready to go in the Mendix cloud. Webhooks notify external systems when a platform event occurs within the Mendix ecosystem. Configure webhooks in the developer portal. Create a webhook, add receiving external system details with events you are interested in, and get near real-time updates instead of relying on polling. Webhooks with the events supported today are useful for customers who want to automate their third-party CICD pipelines, customers who want to trigger downstream processes after new code has been pushed in the team server Git repository, or customers who want near real-time notifications, say in Slack or Teams, when certain platform events take place in Mendix. Webhooks was launched in public beta in March this year. After incorporating valuable feedback from customers, webhooks are now available for public cloud, cloud-dedicated, and private cloud-connected customers. The supported events include team server push for Git and package upload. If you're ready to get cracking with Menix 10 and already have an app you want to upgrade, check out the upgrade guide for details about upgrading from Menix 9 to Menix 10. And finally, we are proud to announce that we have selected 11 new MVPs to join the MVP program. MVPs go above and beyond in sharing their knowledge and expertise to help developers succeed. We congratulate each of these most valuable professionals with their freshly minted title and look forward to working with them. Keep an eye out for Mendix 10 content from our MVPs. For a full list of new features, improvements, and fixes, check out the release blog on mendix.com blog or read the release notes on docs.mendix.com. You can also watch the Mendix 10 launch webinar at mendix.com slash what's new. Download Studio Pro 10 at marketplace.mendix.com to use all of these new features right now. If you liked the video, go ahead and like it, and if you didn't, hit the dislike button. Either way, we'll know if you want to see more. I'm Jan Lefries, your low-code host, and I'll see you in the next video.